If you're wondering about starting a tech career in 2024 and what the future holds for tech jobs in 2024, you've come to the right place. If we haven't met, my name is Lilian Shilika Tata. I am an AWS Solutions Architect, a mom, and a PhD candidate in information technology. So there's been a lot of talk about tech layoffs and saturated job markets. But is there still hope for you in the tech industry? These are questions that we're all asking today, even those who are experienced in the tech industry, you know, are wondering what the future of tech holds. And it's true that there's been significant layoffs in recent years. For example, in 2022, the big tech players, the fangs, Facebook, now called Meta, we have Amazon, Apple, Microsoft, and Google laid off about 164,000 employees. And in 2023, which was just last year, this number rose to about 262,000. Um, this has led to a flood of, you know, of course, experienced talent in the tech market um, or in the tech job market. It's raising a lot of concerns about job saturation. But does this mean that the end of opportunities in tech is around the corner? Well, let's explore and see what we can find. Now, the question is, what can we expect for 2024? Will hiring recover or are tech jobs truly, really saturated? It's essential to look at the bigger picture, despite the fact that there were layoffs in tech, in the tech industry in certain areas. A Gartner report states that by 2027, cloud services will exceed $1 trillion in value. This is a massive market with lots of potential. One significant area of growth as well is cloud computing. And that is what I focused on when I went into the tech industry. Companies like Amazon are committed to training about 28 million people. No, not 28, 29 million people by 2025. Mind you, this is 2024. 2025 is just next year. And they are committed to training 29 million people by 2025. This indicates that there's a strong demand for the future of cloud related jobs. And additionally, we have the rise of generative AI, which is reshaping the technology landscape. At the reInvent conference I have attended in December, that was in Las Vegas, the Amazon Web Services or the AWS Cloud Conference, generative AI was a trending topic and this highlighted its importance and the growth that is going to be around tech and tech companies that are adopting generative AI. Well, now the question is going to be, what is your path to standing out um, if you join the tech world or if you become part of the tech trend? My advice would be to still join, but how then do you stand out? There's a couple of ways um, we can do this. And from my research, I just think what I found, I'll, I'll share with you. And then we see how we can leverage this information to grow together in the tech industry. So in a competitive market, one thing to up, up, absolutely look for is upskilling. Upskilling is your key to standing out. If you're wondering whether you need to learn coding to be a cloud architect, let me tell you, I am one and I don't code. That's right. There are various roles in the tech industry that don't necessarily require coding skills because some of the first questions people ask me when they want to join the tech industry is, do I need to code? The answer is no, but is learning code necessary? Yes, I think it is necessary to upskill. So the focus should be, you know, on gaining specialized knowledge in areas like cloud computing or generative AI. Upskilling in these domains can make you, you know, a valuable asset to potential employees. As a cloud architect, you might think you will just get your cloud certification, solutions architect certification, and then get you know, a professional certification and that is it, no. Uh, to stand out in the market, you're going to need skills like Terraform, DevOps, you know, that's upskilling, just getting these little skills that add together to give you the whole or the full package when you're getting into the job market. One thing as well that helps me to upskill when I'm looking at getting back into the market is what are companies looking for or what are the job requirements when they post it out? Sometimes you'd see you're required to have. If you're a solutions architect, um, I'm just going to pull one on LinkedIn and show you. Sometimes they require you to 
have API knowledge to know Terraform, um, DevOps, and what else do they ask for? Agile, you know, certifications. And if you have this, then you're really presenting yourself as a strong candidate. But if you just come with a solutions architect certification, you know, that really doesn't put you in a good place. So I think upskilling is a very good way to prepare yourself for the market in 2024. Again, um, it's also important to remember that while companies will hire and lay off, opportunities are always out there. The right skills can make you the perfect candidate or the perfect fit for the right company. Because the tech industry today is vast and layoffs in one sector don't, don't necessarily mean that there's a lack of opportunity in another. It's all about finding your place in an ever evolving landscape and making sure that you fit into that landscape by acquiring the skills that are needed for that landscape. So to wrap up, um, starting your tech journey in 2024 is not only feasible, but I think it can be incredibly rewarding. You might be wondering how or where to start the tech journey, what to do, what not to do, what opportunities are out there, what are the different tech careers out there. You're confused on which of them to go for, what resources can I use and where to start. So in my next video, I'm going to show you a couple of resources um, or free resources that you can use to start your cloud career, particularly with AWS. And I'm going to do this because that is my focus and I would use my background of mm, the knowledge I have acquired in the past years, the resources that helped me and I'll share these with you so you can learn as well. And then um, I'm also going to uncover some of the cloud computing, the jobs in the cloud computing world and give you a little feedback about what it entails, what the pay is currently in the market and just help you see which one would be a good fit for you and where you can start with this. So I hope this video was of value to you and if it was and you want to learn more, follow me on this journey just like the video and subscribe so that you can get notifications when I post new videos and let's see how we can grow our careers together in an ever-evolving tech world.